Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 15 on object oriented ABAP and this is coming under design patterns in object oriented. So the last video explained what is design pattern and explained about the singleton. So the next one in design pattern is MVC, model view controller. So MVC is not only a design pattern normally it's we consider that is an architectural pattern so if you want to architect any of your product or any of your project in a very uh, proper way with object oriented concept so people prefer mvc mostly this concept now it's happening more in the web application uh, side so keep your design in the mvc level and we have an option in abab also we can also develop or design our own projects or our own product with the help of MVC concept. So here I'm going to explain the design and the basic idea of MVC and an example of MVC, how we can able to accommodate this methodology uh, in our model pool programming. I'll just give a small uh, information about it, small design of uh, model pool programming through MVC. I'm not able to explain it through the system because uh, my idea is I don't want to spend more time on this design pattern because once you understand the concept depends on your need you are able to uh, applicate uh, you're able to apply on your development okay because I already completed multiple programming so it's very easy to relate what I'm going to say about MVC in the multiple programming and if you have any doubt on this please let me know let me take into the slide <coughs> So MVC, you know about this model view controller. So each one has its own um, properties or own way of working. And then uh, view is nothing but we maybe consider this is a user experience or a user input. It's a very basic, it's a user input screen. Okay, user screen where they're going to uh, give their input, they're expecting some output everything is for the users those that we call as view so that way it's actually designed um, in above we call it as an input screen or selection screen whatever it is a module programming screen so those things we can consider as a view it's mostly for user uh, way of working and the model is is going to be a data manipulation model is the one which decide or which interact communicate with your database table or database system okay so model is the only place where it's going to interact and get the data so it's a two-way communication between the model and database so it will give the information or it will get the data and send back to the next level so that is the use of model and here model and view doesn't have any direct communication so it's not able to communicate directly between these two so we need some mediator between model and the view okay so from view you're not able to uh, talk to the model and get the data the same way model cannot be send any information many database data information directly back to the view so that is not possible so the mediator is controller so controller is the one who decides depends on the request what is going to be triggered or how the data is going to be get what kind of data to be get so those things to be um, decided in the controller at the same way once the data is received from the model and it will decide what the way is going to display in the view also so the controller is going to act as a, a deciding factor between view and the model depends on the request from the view okay so this is the basic idea of model view controller um, it needs some time if you decided to go with the MVC please try to um, replicate or design your own idea of or based on your business requirement in the MVC level so they said okay we need three or four screens we can keep as a view consider as a view and uh, once the view uh, is just they have some buttons depends on the buttons it needs to be um, called this PAI module this PBO module or POH POV module I'm talking about about perspective and then uh, the, in the inside the module there is a code there is a select query which is going to take the data from your database table so design your um, MVC based on your business requirement 
and uh, one more thing is feasible option is go with the bigger project so don't try to implement a mez for a very simple um, projects or a design it not required uh, whenever there is a complexity involved is a very big uh, level of a project or product then go with the mez options so if it is a very simple it's not required to implement a mez for that one okay simple so uh, this picture mostly you have seen in many places about the MVC. Uh, this is my own understanding and perspectives I would like to share with you. So here view is the screen. Uh, this one I just explained. View, <coughs> view is the UI screen. Excuse me. And uh, the view and controller, the communica communication is a two-way communication. So whenever there is a request, okay, save my sales order. So if you click save, then the control, the request is going to reach controller. Then controller have decided, okay, if there is a save request is coming from view, first we need to do all the validation. So it might call a module which is coming under chain and end chain. Okay. And uh, first one is the validation. Once all validations are done, then call another module which is going to call a BAPI which creates a sales order in the backend. So two models to be called based on the uh, save request from the view. So here, uh, these are the place you are not able to see. This is not like, okay, I want to see the view or I want to see the controller. So those are, you're not able to see it. You have to design it. Okay. And consider, okay, I have some modules. This is the way it needs to call. This is the way the module to be called, or this is the way the method, maybe uh, one step ahead. If you, I want to design everything, model build program with object oriented concepts. So uh, the first step I need to call a screen that is a method and method is calling a screen call screen 200. So I need to call the view to be enabled first, right? To the user. So I need to call the particular method. Then it will open my input screen. And if it is a save, I need to call a method where all the validation happens. And if it is another method where the uh, data is going to be saved in the backend system. So that way we have to design if you go with the object oriented uh, ABAP concept. And the controller and model, you know about uh, based on the request, the control has decided which needs to be called. And inside a method, uh, you have the code where it's going to get the data from the database table. And that returns, that is also a two-way uh, communication. So model returns all the data, or if it is no data, so empty information is going to reach controller. And controller will decide if it is an empty, what needs to be done? If it is a data, how the data is displayed in the view. So those things are decided in the control level and send the information back to the view. So uh, how the information in the sense uh, in the internal table, suppose um, if it is an order type as uh, a different one, so they want, it's not a sales order, maybe a report I'm saying. Uh, I want only few informations from the sales order information. And if it is another request, probably the UI has a, a authorization level. So if the user one request a sales order report, please give only five fields. If the supervisor user two has a request a sales order report, just give eight fields. So those needs to be controlled uh, in the controller area after the model, after the data is received. So that needs to be uh, understand or controlled over here and send the back all the data to be the view level and the what do you call the communication between view and model the direct communication is not possible between view and model so this is the mvc i don't want to give very detailed explanation because it's it's just a methodology depends on your business requirement you have to decide which is one is view which is on a controller and which was the model need to be interact with your database table okay so hope you might have some idea of MEC, but MEC is not, we are going to consider as a design, one, not only consider as a design pattern, normally MEC we used for architectural, <coughs> excuse me, architectural pattern, okay? So it's come, it's, it's not again for above, it's a universal methodology MEC and uh, it's available in object oriented design pattern also. So just play around with this and if you have any doubt, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next design pattern video. Bye. Uh, sorry, one more slide that's missed. This is the one. Uh, I just created it just for your reference. Like view as nothing but a model pool screen and the controller to be decided which module to be called. If it is not an object oriented, 
uh, you just call the one or if it is object oriented you need a method to call the particular uh, pbu or pi options and another one the model is going to be communicate with your db so simple uh, idea how to implement mvc just try and play around with your basic screens and keep yourself uh, what do you call uh, enhanced in mvc as well so if you just go for an object oriented options so you should know these are also coming under design pattern uh, area okay so that's it see you in the next video bye